Friends, the Grinch is in the house. As promised said today, I will be sharing with you the worst products of 2023. And I'm super excited for today's video because it is also a collaboration. Yay! No, it's not a brand collaboration. It's not. It's something even better. I'm collaborating with another amazing content creator here on YouTube. She also does content on Instagram. It's none other than... Da -da 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 -da! Sophia from Sophia Sees Beauty. Thank you so much, Sophia, for collaborating with me on this video. If you haven't yet watched her channel, uh, <laughs> you have to discover her channel. She has been here on YouTube for two years and I'm so happy that her channel is growing and she's getting all the attention that she deserves because she will give it to you sin pelos en la lengua, what that means. <laughs> What that means? Well, in Spanish, and if I translate it, it means without any hairballs inside your mouth. Like, she she will tell you the truth. You know, if she doesn't like something, she will tell you right there and then, I don't like this, this is trash, garbage, do not waste your money. She gives amazing reviews, very, very detailed. And I love her content too, because she's kind of, I shouldn't say kind of like me, not kind of like me, but we have kind of a little bit of that same approach that we love everything, beauty, makeup, but we mix in a little bit of our fashion in there and lifestyle, a little bit of everything. She is truly, a breath of fresh air here on this platform. So I invite you to check her channel, check her video. I cannot wait to see what are the worst products on her list. And most likely, I think she will sing for us. Not that she promised me that she will sing, but I know that she sings. I don't sing, you know? I was thinking to sing the Grinch song, but I'm like, well, that will be copyright. Okay, whatever, let's just wear green today. And for the first product, I mean, very on point for the video style, Grinch green. I mean, a complete like, shouldn't say disaster, but honestly, not what I was expecting at all whatsoever. I mean, I was just like, so, oh my gosh, Prada is coming out with a beauty line. It's gonna be incredible, amazing, and whatnot. And, and yes, yes, actually, there are a couple products that are incredible, amazing. In fact, one of those products made it to the best of 2023, according to <laughs> this girl, that I actually uploaded that video yesterday. So when you're watching this video, yeah, it would have been yesterday that I uploaded that video. Best in beauty of 2023, well, after this video, yeah, that's what you want to watch. Going back to Prada. So when I saw this product and the campaign and everything, I'm like, oh, I want to try it. This is going to be innovative. This is going to be different. This green lip balm is going to be amazing. But it's not. <laughs> it's just like, what in the world is this? I mean, like a chapstick from the drugstore is better than this. Perhaps I'm exaggerating a little, but it doesn't do anything. I mean, like... Hello, um, there's some lip balms, like say from Hermes, Chanel, I mean, you know, the luxury brands that they give us something, something. I don't know, I mean, like they give hydration, they leave a little bit of a healthy, youthful glow to the lips. They are not greasy and whatnot. This is just, I don't know if they wanted to do something mattifying, but it doesn't do anything. I mean, it just... It, it, it's just pretty to see it's like oh it's green it's pretty and then you put it on your lips it's like so will these do anything for me there's no hydration it doesn't even feel like mm, moisturizing it just feels blah <laughs> that's what it feels so um sorry prada very pretty but they could have done something a lot better than this thing now here goes my Birkin, bye-bye. <laughs> I'm trying to accumulate points in the loyalty program of Hermes. Let's just be a little bit more posh and say, it's a journey, yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, I buy Hermes Beauty because I really enjoy and I'm excited. I'm, I'm a beauty lover at heart. I love everything from beauty, makeup, fragrances, skincare. I, I just love everything that has to do with beauty, okay? And I love everything that has to do with fashion. Once again, I decided to give an opportunity to Hermes and their brushes. Well, at least one brush. I own a Hermes brush, is the blush brush. And I will have to say at the beginning, I was like, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It got better as it got washed. 
But this eyeshadow brush, it looks just so beautiful, but it's a complete shame. Not that shape, but actually the quality, the quality. I mean, these are natural hair bristles that they are just pokey, prickly, 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 prickly. And no matter how many times I have washed it with the most gentle baby soap, even apply conditioner to it. Like I, I th even think that I apply that Seasonally conditioner. I'm like, really, try my best. But no, no, it's like so prickly. It actually even hurts to apply your eyeshadow with this brush. I don't know if they were trying to do some sort of acupuncture with this brush, but no matter how many times I have washed it, how many times I have conditioned it, it hasn't got any better. And I just feel so upset about it because I had high hope. Like I said before, I do own a Hermes brush, the blush brush, which started kind of like this one, but with time and washes and all of that, it got better to the point that I use it and it's one of my favorite brushes on my collection. But this is a no. I mean, the eyes area is just so delicate. What about, you know, Hermes, <clears throat> contact Sonia G, okay? Um, get into a talk. She can definitely guide you, put you in communication with the Japanese connection to create food brushes and get your natural hair bristles from them and, you know, get their craftsmanship and all of that because... I don't understand. I do not understand. I mean, if you have touch, feel, Hermes, bags, fashion, I mean, like they are leather, they are cashmere, they are sweaters, they are cotton. Everything is soft, luxury. I mean, luxurious quality, aside to the price, but it, they are fine fabrics, fine leathers and whatnot. And, but why? And Hopefully Ahmed is not watching because I see my Birkin going bye-bye. <laughs> okay, friends, let's move on to an eyeshadow quad that I tried not too long ago and I tried it again and I'm just a little bit mm, upset because I love this new formulation. Other eyeshadows from the permanent line, they made it to the best of 2023 with the exception of these. I'll be like, oh my gosh, I had been <laughs> I was looking forward. The packaging is so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I wanna cry. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> Not only broke pretty much immediately without even really using it, but not only that, I don't know if it's the color story or something. This eyeshadow quad from YSL was, it's sad. It's sad to say, but you know, I, I really like the packaging. I kind of like the color story. You definitely have to use some other kind of palette to get some other matte shades. These shades, they work fine. This one is just, you know, it just sparkles with no base. And then this black shade, it just crumbles. Crumbles. What happened here? YSL, you have an amazing formulation. And I will highly suggest, as I had been saying and raving the praises about these eyeshadow quads from YSL, they are extraordinary wet eyeshadow formulation. Beautiful mattes that they blend like a dream. They have a lot, like a ton of emollients that makes a breeze to apply, right? What happened with this? This is your holy palette. It should have been like the star of the show because everybody was going to want not only this packaging, this color story, your smoky eye look, your full gold glam for the holiday season. And if this is the first eyeshadow palette that people try, they are not going to want to try the permanent ones. And that really is a bummer. It's a complete bummer. So packaging is beautiful. Definitely, I mean, personally, I can remove the whole thing and use it as a mirror. Why not, right? So pretty, so cute. But that wasn't the case. The case was supposed to be able to use the eyeshadows inside and to be amazing. I mean, the look turned out really nice. I liked it, but it wasn't something that, wow, 
impressed me and I really wanted that. Wow, because all the rest of the YSL eyeshadow quads, they give me that, wow, I wanna use them again. And I have been repeating the entire year how great they are. <sighs> but this is a complete no. Last year was a year of foundations. This year was a year of concealers. <laughs> so the expectations were quite high. One, because I'm on my fourth floor and fine lines, wrinkles, and all the jazz, they are there. I do have very dark under eyes circles, panda bear like. I mean, if you haven't seen me yet without makeup, if you're new here to my channel, welcome. And welcome to all of you, my beautiful friends. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for, but it's completely free. So go ahead, subscribe, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And if you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up. That would be amazing. But anyhow, going back to the concealers. Okay, so my problems, right? Very dark under eye circles. Um, hollow under eye areas, you know, aging skin and all of that. So, okay, well, you know, formulations have been improving. We have seen amazing concealers in the past few years. My holy grail, blah, blah, blah. And then the last two, three months, an avalanche of concealers. Okay, excitement here, there. This is really good. It's stretchy, doesn't set on fine lines. And then Natasha Denona announced her concealer even went viral. And I bet you, a ton of the content creators that you watch and love that have more than 100,000, 200,000, 500,000, 1 million subscribers, they will have this concealer as their favorite, except me. I don't have a hundred thousand subscribers just yet. And obviously not a million, <laughs> but I have the best family ever here. And I have to be very honest with you, friends. These, you need very little amount. I give it that it has really good coverage, but it does crease. It creases. And even Natasha Denona says it. I think it was, I was watching some Instagram, either a story or, you know, a reel or, 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 or something of sorts, right? And she said, you know, every concealer crease, eh, yes, they can crease and they can set just a tiny bit on the fine lines. But hey, the labs have been working hard and the formulas are getting better and better. If I can get a Gucci concealer, a House Labs concealer, a Chanel concealer, to wear at minimum five, six hours without creasing, without setting in the fine lines. Why is her concealer doing so within the first 30 minutes to an hour of wear? No, 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 no. I wanna get out of the house. I wanna do my stuff, go throughout my day, rush, 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 right? Do my stuff without having to worry to go and tap in. Have I done it before? Absolutely. I mean, certain days uh, our skin can be more dry or perhaps we are sweating or perhaps it's, you know, a very sunny day and hot day. I mean, you know, the climate, all, all of those uh, things affect our makeup, how it looks, how it wears, etc. I get it. I totally get it. But to me, the way that formulations have been improving, I think she could have done better. I think the, the texture, the coverage of this concealer is really good, but the creasing, it should increase that soon. You know, totally expect that four, five hour mark. Okay, finding a little bit of creasing, nothing that it will age you or that is drying because this concealer is not drying, but you know, something that I can tap. But within the first 30 minutes to an hour, it left me feeling like almost there. Let's talk about something that went directly back to Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, to the point that not even right now, okay, <laughs> I, I want to say Dr. Brand, Dr. Jar. It's a doctor, okay. He's Dr. Dennis Gross, lip plumping, thingy majiggy. That thing was horrible. Okay, listen me out. I use lip plumpers, okay. Some of my favorite ones, the um, Genius Liquid Collagen Lip Plumper by The Alginist, and my new obsession, the one from La Mer. Okay, same thing with the lip maximizers by Dior. And these ones, they have, you know, different shades, colors, finishes, I mean, you name it, right? Okay, perfect. 
they don't give me the pain. They plump my lips and they look beautiful. Now, some of you may say, well, without pain, there's no gain, <laughs> right? That's not true. That's not right. I mean, it can be done not only with less pain, but more than anything, it's like I had, I think, an allergic reaction because my lips, they look really bad. They, they look a little bit bigger, not even that much, but the rim of my lips, they were red. You know, like I'm a mom, and if you're a mom, you know, like a diaper rash, a baby diaper rash, one that is really bad, <laughs> that you need to put that white desitin cream on that little area, just like that, just like that. It was horrible. It was horrible. I, <laughs> what's going on with this? And then everybody like, look at my big lip. But such a horrible pro uh, And by the way, <laughs> let me address this thing. If you love these products, I'm sorry. It's just my personal opinion. Do not take it as an offense. We each have our own likes, dislikes, whatever I like, you may dislike. That's not, okay? that's life. That's why we are all so unique and so beautiful. Just take it lightly, okay? <laughs> but anyhow, um, yeah, so much so that I'm very honest with you. I feel really bad with Dr. Brand and Dr. Jar because I keep saying the lip plumping from either one of these doctors, but it's none of those. It's Dr. Dennis Gross. And perhaps if I'm mistaken it too, I'm sorry, I will put the picture right here of where in the world this was, but if you had been eyeing it, run away from it, there are better lip plumpers in the market. Another product that went back into the store, and this really was a little bit painful for me, super unexpected. I had high hopes for it because it came from a brand that I truly trust with everything that has to do with brows. One of my holy grail products is the Benefit Brow Setter Gel. These I mean, the spoolie is amazing. You have seen it in past years, been in not only my monthly favorites, but my year favorites, my holy grails and whatnot. And this year, Benefit launched the fluff up brow, whatever. What a horrible product. It didn't do anything to my brows. It left a little bit of kind of like a whitish cast. It was like, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> is, is the product there? What is it doing? Is there, is leaving my brows not fluff up, but just looking really bad. And that's exactly what I do not want. So Benefit, what are you doing? No, 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 no. I, I know not everybody wants laminated brows, me personally. And I wanted, yes, a fluff up brow it didn't even give me the grinch kind of look it gave me more like frosty the snowman kind of brows more brow gels oh there was there was another brow gel that was a disaster and i feel so bad because i love this brand i think they do amazing products i have some products that i absolutely love from this brand mostly they are cream blushes oh my gosh lys lys <laughs> is their brow gel. It didn't do anything for me, nothing. I mean, this gel is kind of like glue, goop. Um, no, this is no good, no bueno, LYS. Please, 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 please. You are, I mean, you're at Sephora because you have great products. Reformulate this and another LYS product that enters into this list is the air mascara. It's long gone. Bye -bye. I don't want it in my life. It didn't do absolutely anything for my lashes. It didn't separate them. It didn't give them curl. It was like, okay, I'm applying and I don't see nothing happening. I mean, there was, is there pigment in there? <laughs> you know, what's going on? Like my lashes, like how many hours do I have to be here to build up this product and to do something? It didn't do nothing. It didn't volumize. It didn't separate. It didn't give pigment. It didn't give leaf. I mean, is it a ghost kind of product? <laughs> Something that is there but not there? What is this product for? So LYS, take a deep breath. You have been doing wonderful. You can do even better. Reformulate these products. This pains me so much. How many times I have told you that if there is one brand, I have a couple, 
But one brand that I can just go to their counter and blind buy whatever products are in front of me and feel so sure that it, it will not go wrong, right? It's one of my very, very, very favorite brands because how reliable it is. And yet it did this to me. <laughs> Tom Ford, Tom Ford, I was so, so anticipating the launch of their lip oil. I was dreaming about it. Dreaming about it because you know, one of my favorite things to buy are lip products and lip oils. I want my lips to look big and juicy and plump and beautiful and glass-like and just look so youthful. I love that. And I love lip oils. What is this? It's kind of like water. It, I, I get it. I get it. A lip oil, some people may think, okay, well, it's an oil. It could be goopy. No, there are some luxurious formulations like Dior, um, Clarins. I mean, there are so many gorgeous formulas that they are non-sticky. This is like super fine. I give it that. Okay. It's not a bad, bad product, but it's far, far away. <laughs> from a lip lip oil um the dove food applicator is tiny i cannot even use it as a lip oil but perhaps the worst thing about this thing it, i'm gonna use it is the scent i love tom for rose brick fragrance but this is like rose brick has gone bad like past expiration date <laughs> you know the roses are like dying roses just like that <sighs> yeah the good thing though the scent dissipates with a little bit of time give and take right but the experience is not that luxurious experience the glow is not that glow it does have a little bit of a pinky hue that looks pretty i'm not gonna lie you know but it's not your it's not the lip oil that i will grab i will have rather for them to say i don't know to, to add some skincare plump in effect and and just say that it was a lip treatment i i wouldn't have rather for them to go for here a lip treatment from Tom Ford. Then I will not be complaining. Then this product would have been added to the worst of 2023, but they market it as a lip oil. And as a lip oil, no, 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 no. What is Elton John doing with the Grinch? Darlings, having some tea. She made it to the list. Tea! <laughs> Oh, that's a tea right there. But I have to tell you the truth here because this lipstick uh, is horrible. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, it's bad because of the shade. It's bad because of the how greedy it is. Okay, I'm not going to put this on my lips. Okay, you may think, okay, this is burgundy. But more than burgundy, as you go and go and go and go, it has a blue hint to it. I mean, it looks pretty on my hand, but... If you see it on my lips, it doesn't look pretty. It has a blue hint that makes my lips look bruised. And it's just so greedy on the lips with all the glitter that they put on that. It's like, why? I mean, like, kind of like the idea, but I really do not like the way that they executed it. If you were looking to this collection, I will say, oh, definitely go for Rocket Girl. Now, this is a gorgeous nudie tone beautiful formulation from charlotte tilbury something that i absolutely love it has appeared on my november favorites too but this shade in particular is a beautiful shade don't get me wrong but it's just greedy and it's just i don't know it's not quite flattering to me okay friends <laughs> this makes it for this video and now i would love to hear from you what are the products that you tried this 2023 that they were like oh my gosh going back to the store immediately i want my money back and do not forget let's go and check what sophia has on her wares of 2023 i'm so excited to see that thank you so much again to sophia for collaborating with me in this video thank you so much if you're coming from sophia's channel i would love for you to become part of this family again make sure you tap on that post notification bell because not only notifies you whenever i upload new videos but also whenever i have something to tell you like a new launch a new release or something new and exciting on my community tab if you're on instagram you 
will be incredible if we can keep growing our family on Instagram. And if you're on TikTok, well, come and follow me there too. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're not done watching my content. I will be leaving a couple other videos right here that I'm sure you're gonna love. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye! A dream of December nights Kissing under bright lights Snowflakes in my head Carols playing in the air A dream of December nights Kissing under bright lights Red